Hi, DW Berman here with another little lightweight video. This time we're just going to go over a few uh, organizational things in the node editor. As you can see, I have the node editor open. And we have our uh, nodes here. Um, this is not very descriptive of what they're doing. It's a vector multiplier, but that's it tells us what the tool is, but not what it does. There are a couple things we can do to help us with that. If you right click on it, we can rename. You see the shortcut key is R. We'll say uh, this one is uh, select a channel to use for the selector. Uh, we could also drop it in down here and say give more instructions down here in the bottom bar. This little text line down here is a uh, comment line for whatever node is selected. So uh, pick which channel to convert into the selector scalar. I know, not great, but you can see if I click off it, it goes away. If I click onto this node, it tells me what it's about down here in the bottom corner. Um, over here we have our gradient node. I don't think there's a way to actually change the uh, the name of these of the keys to tell us what they do in this case. This is my uh, node tree for using mouth shapes. Um, yeah, selecting a mouth shape based on uh, exports from Character Animator, Adobe Character Animator. What we can do though is we can go to a compound node and just add that in there and we can start dragging our things in here. So we'll say we want to go to ah, uh, we'll drag our color onto the new and then we can on our compound node, what this does is if I I'll say I'll select all these compound node is a way to group nodes together into one node to make it a little more e a little easier to, to, to work with so I'm just gonna copy those hopefully that worked copy double click on compound node and now I'm in here I can paste you can see I have one color input because I already dragged one in there and I can drag the color input if I used it for the ah I'll drop in the ah there because I know that one's gonna be the ah and I'll just go down the list actually I need to make about four more of those but uh, then we have the output and we'll run the output to the output so now if I double click on one of the inputs or the outputs it'll drop us back to our main view so here we have our compound node and instead of having the gradient go in here we can drop that in there um, obviously I need to do a lot more to get this thing working like say this is the I want to find, yeah, we'll go with the D. We'll drop the D, output from the D into there. And now we can drag this into the output that the D is in. So that goes there. But what I can do now, yeah, by way of organization, is I can right click on this and go to the node menu and rename the, uh, in this case it's an output because it's coming from outside can rename this to ah and on this one it doesn't update here but it did actually make the change it takes a little while to update I can rename this one this is D so now I have the mouth shapes for a and D if I go back to here now you can see I can plug in uh, my D into up there so if I go through and add a bunch of color nodes and name them appropriately it's much easier to actually match up the uh, mouth shape to the thing and then I don't have like this huge node here in the end. I'll, have, I'll still have all of these other, all of these other image nodes here, but uh, I won't have like this big uh, gradient. Of course, I could always make that small too. That little thing there collapses it. But anyway, that was a big thing I wanted to go over. Was we can rename nodes to uh, to something more descriptive. So in this case, this would be. Uh, um, mouth shape selector and obviously this is not set up at all uh, I still need to add in all of the mouth shapes and then add in the channel here for the uh, selector and I'll just rename that uh, node menu rename selector not a great name I didn't even spell it right but anyway that would go into the input 
maybe through some other nodes to process it. But anyway, what we can do now that we have our, if you imagine we had our stuff actually set up, we can just kind of select everything we want to move over. We'll just go with this group here. I can right click and export selected and uh, we'll just call this test nodes. So now I can uh, <laughs> click around madly, randomly. Right click, go to import nodes, the test nodes. And there we go, we have our chain that we just saved. So I'm still working on some things, so uh, I hope to have a new video out this weekend, maybe kind of going over the whole setup. But I do have, like I said, this all set up already. May rework this based on color inputs instead of vector inputs, but this is basically our setup. We have our item info coming in, a couple of uh, scalar options to control the signal chain. Then we have our uh, mouth shape images going into our different inputs. If I double click on this, you can see I have my inputs here and they're going into the different gradient node outputs or into the inputs on the gradient node and then that goes back out to uh, our surface setting so uh, I hope this has been helpful uh, again we covered um, renaming nodes by hitting R or right clicking on it adding in comments down here in the bottom you know on the bottom line and then uh, the ability to actually create your own nodes inside of a compound node and you can rename the inputs on those to make things more clear and finally we covered exporting selected and importing nodes so I hope this was helpful uh, if it was uh, thumbs up like share all the usual YouTube stuff and uh, I appreciate it thanks bye